how to stamp leaves and sprockets and spoons and all of these items that we're going to use to decorate our tree of possibilities. Each one of you will be able to create a leaf with your sentiment on it and uh, then we can incorporate them into the sculpture. So this, these are the leaves that we're, we've cut out and then we're going to use these stamp sets here and these stamp sets are all, the letters are all capital letters. The next step is to uh, put a center line down the middle of the leaf and that's going to help us with our spacing on our letters. So we'll scribe a center line right down there. And go ahead and do it on both sides. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're going for the center of the stem to the tip of the leaf. Hold it steady, get your fingers on there. And there's my center line again. Can you see that line there down the middle? The idea is to get uh, one, two, three, four lines in, but they have to be spaced so that they can fit. So one line down one side of the center line, Flip it over one line down the other side of the line. And uh, there, there's room for four, as many as four lines, your four words that you choose to imprint. Or you can just do one, too. You don't have to do four. You've got to come up with words that really have some sentiment meaning to you. Like uh, one of my words would be family. Then I'm going to come in, I'm going to co collect the letters one by one. They're alphabetized here and they're showing straight up. There's the F for family. This blue paint signifies that it, the paint should be facing you. And what that does is that orients the letter the right way so that it, it doesn't come upside down or sideways. Okay, in your kit you have a, a plate, a base plate, which you'll be doing all your hammering into. That's gonna give you some resistance. Put that on your work table. Then put your leaf or your spoon or your sprocket, whatever you've decided to use. Put that on top of the plate and then use this straight edge, which is what you're going to put your letters up against to make them all in the same row so you have a legible, readable sentence. Put that in there like that. Take a spring clamp and that's holding everything together. It's fixed. It's not going to bounce around. It's not going to move. And then we start with our letters. First letter in the word, in place, color towards you up against the straight edge and then start doing your imprinting. One more, my last letter. Y. Hold it straight up and down and one tap. What ends up happening is the stamp pushes the metal away from itself and then the, so there's some texture here. So what we can do to clean that up to make it a little bit more of a uniform surface is just do a little bit of cleanup with your hammer. Now don't hit it hard because we don't want to put any other marks in here other than the letters. So we're just going to flatten it up just a little bit. And there it is. To imprint on the spoon, as you can see, the spoon is a three-dimensional, it's a complicated shape, and we want to get it flat in order to put our stamping on. So we would take the spoon over to the anvil, and you'll probably get them already like this, but what we have to do is flatten them out so that we can stamp on them. So at the anvil, we'll take the spoon and beat it flat into this position, this shape. Then. Put it on your steel plate here, your backing plate. Put your straight edge on here again for your line of type in the same position, nice level line. And spring clamps again. And then start your, start your type all the way to the left. Make sure that you've got enough room to put your word. Don't pick a word with too many letters in it, or if you do, just count them out and multiply them by the this, the, the length of the type to make sure that it's going to fit. And then that's how you'd end up with the spoon. If some of you are stamping your word on a bicycle sprocket, this sprocket came from uh, Operation Bicycle, provided to us for our sculpture. Your, your, line's gonna, your line of type is going to be a little more freeform. It's going to follow the contour here, so a straight edge isn't going to work. 
So you'll just have to pay extra close attention to your spacing. Remember the color goes towards you. Place it equal distances from the top and the bottom. Get it centered just right. And if you if you have any questions about where it is fitting in there, just look at it from the side and then hold it in place. You gotta hold it just right in place and press down on it a little bit so it won't move. And then give it that bang and to set it. Now if for some reason you don't get the whole you take it away and you get the don't get the whole letter. You'll have to spend a little time to get it positioned exactly where the grooves line up, where the grooves in this aluminum line up with the grooves in the letter, and then and you can feel that it's in there because it won't wiggle, and then rotate it a little bit. You can try to tilt it a little bit to get both sides of the letter.